Hey, folks, welcome to In the Money Stocks. Dot com's live trading action video. My name is Gareth Soloway, Chief Market Strategist here. Today's date is Wednesday, May 22nd, 2019. So take a look at lows here. This is just an ugly, nasty day, down almost 12%. But take a look at the support level it's approaching. And this is a level we had as a gap play in the chat room at the start of the day. You can see the stock was starting out the day all the way up here, and this is the level where we were talking about buying it. Notice how it's getting very, very close to that level. So that is technical support. It's right around 97.50. Um, that'll be a short-term bounce. Ultimately, this will go lower in the coming weeks, but again, I would expect some sort of support and maybe a bounce back above 100 off of that level. All right, a couple of the stocks to go over that are in the news today. We have to look at Qualcomm. Qualcomm getting a, an unfavorable ruling from a judge. I have a key level of support down here on Qualcomm around 6640, so keep an eye on 6640. Uh, if it doesn't hit it today, my guess is it will hit it tomorrow. Um, really, what's interesting about this is this had a huge move up recently on good news, you know, basically settling with Apple and so forth on the assumption that they weren't going to have these patent issues and kind of these these nasty sort of um, issues with potentially the FTC and so forth. Uh, this is now coming all the way back in. So again, I do think it's going to find some support here and then the 200 moving average here. But again, I would not touch this until at least it gets down to this kind of 60... Yeah, 6650-ish, give or take a little bit, 6640 area. And then you could buy more at the 63 level, which is the 200 moving average. But be real careful here, folks. I mean, this was up on a lot of hot air. It's finally coming back to reality. Wait for it to get down to the levels before you start accumulating. Um, a couple things I was watching. I was talking to the chat room today about AXP. Uh, I think AXP and the other credit card companies are huge shorts. I posted this on Twitter. I talked about it to my members. And the reason behind the idea of being a huge short, not only is a stock like AXP up from below 90 to 120, I mean, that's a huge move for not really a very high growth company, but there's already been talk about capping credit card fees, uh, interest rates, right? So again, you know, we hear fees are 20, 25%. There's talk amongst uh, a lot of the Democrats on capping those. I actually think it'll be something that's very popular on both sides of the aisle as a lot of kind of middle class and lower income have just massive amounts of credit card debt. And there's no way they can ever pay it off when you're charging 20 or 25% interest per year. I mean, that's just ludicrous. So I think this will be the story of the next year. I think these stocks will be down 20% from current levels. And what's interesting is they're all basically at all-time highs or 52-week highs. If you look at MasterCard, same thing. It's it's up today right into this little pivot double top. Um, and again, I don't know if in the next couple weeks you'll start hearing this chatter, but I guarantee by year-end going into 2020, going into the elections, you will hear a lot of talk. And it'll be a very popular thing on both sides of the aisles. And these companies will be in the crosshairs um, of of the politicians and potential new regulations. So watch that. Again, this is a longer-term short call on these credit card companies, but I do think it's going to be a big, big thing. Okay, a couple other things. Uh, we were looking at HSY today. I think HSY is a no-brainer short, up 13 days in a row. If you know the PPT methodology, you know what's coming there. Uh, downside short-term, you're going to see a move back to about 125. Longer-term, you should see a gap fill down here. But again, this is a very extended chart. Look at how many green candles in a row, uh, basically approaching a time count. And I think that is a very intriguing uh, play there. Uh, one stock we do have in the Research Center that's doing great today. Take a look at 3M, up over $3 today. Um, here was a former support. It broke support, hit another support. We actually bought more yesterday, right down at the lows here. And look at the bounce today. Uh, this should continue to snap back. My target on this is going to be this pivot low right here, which is around 178 so I think, again, you still have another 8 7 to $8 upside on uh, 3M here. Um, we are waiting on the Fed minutes in about 15 minutes. If we go back to the SPY here, let me see here. You can see we have a bearish pattern on the daily chart, so a bearish pattern below the 20. Ultimately, I do think this market's going to go lower, although part of me hopes it inches up a little bit so that we can uh, short some things. I have some shorts out there, but in the recent drop when we were down here, I covered a ton of shorts. We took 10% off the SQQQ. We took a bunch of other uh, winners off the table as well. So I'd like to get back in them, but I just am looking for a little bit higher um, entry price on those shorts. Uh, I don't know if we'll get it, but if we do get it, I will be uh, taking advantage for the next leg down here as long as this bearish pattern holds true. Okay, um, a couple other things I wanted to just mention very, very briefly. 
I do have a strong buy. I'm a very big fan of, of KHC. I like how it's actually holding up well today. Um, obviously, this stock's been under a lot of pressure if you zoom out on this. What got my attention last week was a call option trade went through for about, man, what was it like? Uh, I think it was about almost 6,000 contracts for the January 2020 calls. I think the strike was 325 and that's a huge amount, folks. I mean, you're talking, I think it was like what I calculate, $1.3, $1.4 million. Uh, that's a big amount. So someone's banking that this is going to go up. I like the fact that it's almost like a little bit of a safety play um, in, a, in a dramatically negative market. Um, and I also like the fact that Mnuchin today met with Walmart and said, you know, they might not impose tariffs on diapers and baby food and all these other things. And, and if you're talking about consumer goods that lower middle income families buy well a lot of that's like i mean ketchup you know like i mean there's a lot of other things that you know could be avoided in terms of tariffs in which case that would be a huge positive for khc now again this is all speculation on my part but i do think it's very very interesting to kind of keep that in mind especially with that large con option contract uh contracts that went off the buy or, you know, again, obviously someone has to sell to be a buyer and so vice versa. That's exchange hands. But obviously someone was willing to take that much on. And that to me is very, very significant. So these little things, keeping an eye on folks, I want you to be fully aware of it as well. Uh, again, Fed minutes shortly, we'll hear about, you know, the projections for interest rates. Or what's the likelihood of an interest rate cut coming up? And again, these are the Fed minutes at 2 p.m. Uh, we also obviously are paying attention to any headlines between China and the U.S. in terms of the trade war. Should be very, very interesting. All right. As always, folks, come join us at InTheMoneyStocks.com. We continue to make money. Just a little heads up. Uh, we I bought two days ago, I bought Tilray call options. Uh, take a look at this thing popping today beautifully. I took 33% on that. My business partner, Nick, took a 95% uh, profit on his AMBA put options. And again, so, I mean, just like that, members of the Options Alerts Banking, 33% and 95% just today alone. Uh, the options and the research center have been on fire lately, folks. I mean, insanely hot. I mean, to the point where it's almost unbelievable. All right. Have a great one, guys. As always, we hope to see you in the in, at inthemoneystocks.com. Come join us. Take care.